it is now 10 I'm watching that even work now it is now 10 56 and I'm still at work um, disinfecting the machine so I'm just waiting on the machine to finish disinfecting and tonight is actually my last night working at this dialysis job I am going home to type up my resignation letter um, I just want to go on record saying honestly some of it is about the time but most of it is about the people that we work with and today was like a wake-up call to be like yes this is it and this is the day this is your last day it's time to move on to a different place i love dialysis i absolutely love what i do oh my god running treatments talking with my patients having just healthy banter i love it but the people that had hi <laughs> the people i have come across in this region where i applied to work and got the job it's a different breed it's a different breed of people and i will say i've worked many places before i've been a traveler i come i worked in jamaica moved from jamaica went to oklahoma come to florida all the way to west palm beach work in miami did traveling in virginia went traveling in texas i've been to a lot of facilities i've worked with a lot of different people and this has to be the worst place I've ever worked, honestly. I've never seen so many toxic people in one place and they feed off each other. And honestly, I did push through, but I have reached my breaking point. I no longer wish to learn. I'm not in an environment where I can learn. Um, it's more of a not I won't um, I don't even know what to call it but a clique mentality will never be healthy in my books and bullying is not me I don't tolerate it I used to cry back in the days when I just um, entered nursing and people usually bully me and I was very sad most of the times and I cried and stuff like that when it, I've been a nurse going now in March it's going to be 10 years I'm completely cried out I actually sent my daughter back home to Jamaica so I could fully learn dialysis and I wanted to learn it so bad that I made difficult decisions and then you realize that the difficult decisions you made was not even worth it. But the good thing is that my daughter is blossoming. And while she's away, I must utilize that time to find something or find somewhere that I would love to work that is very healthy and professional and organized. This organization and clique mentality and bully mentality does not work well in healthcare. We are dealing with people's lives. But a lot of us won't understand that because we come into healthcare just for the money. But today, being on call and feeling so alone is definitely my wake up call. So today, tonight is my last night. going to come to this facility and drive behind me because I really feel really really exhausted and for the first time since I've started this job well many times I feel unsafe but tonight because I've been here since 9 and it's now going on to 11 he's going to drive behind me since he's leaving work right now just to make sure that I'm safe and that we both get home safely so yeah so I sent my resignation letter this morning to both my clinical coordinator and also my manager 
and I let the charge nurse for today know that I won't be in tomorrow just so if they have not gotten around to tell her that she does not send my name out on the um on the schedule for tomorrow so I just gave her that little update um no one likes to get a resignation letter um but I did not get a response so I think that's a response in itself they have received it I'm not going back to work I'm currently interviewing for different jobs um sadly I ignored many red flags coming into this job um it did not start out smoothly um when it comes on to my orientation and getting everything together but I was very enthusiastic and very um happy to be going into a special specialized area and I've always wanted to go into dialysis from I was a nurse in Jamaica so once the opportunity arised I was all about putting everything into like making it smooth like I really wanted it to work um sadly when you work with a lot of people or a small amount of people that gossip a lot or that have a bully mentality or act like well I know this and I know that and give off a whole like a whole lot of negative energy um it's not somewhere where you can grow and I think when you have someone brand new into a specialized area or any area, matter of fact, you have to try and nurture that person into the position because eventually you want them to be on their own, right? So the fact that after a couple months of being on my own, I kind of realized certain things i started to feel tense at work i started to feel anxious at work i started to feel uncomfortable with working with some people and i even to a point where one of them was just way too much that i had to report it to the point where i just did not want to work with that person at all because i did not feel safe working with them and when i say i don't feel safe working with them is that if something happens i don't feel comfortable asking questions and i have to ask questions i have to ask for help because it's new to me so if i'm feeling uncomfortable and hesitant to ask somebody for help i don't want to work with that person because i think it's very unsafe um so there was that and when I usually go into some of the shifts, I could feel tension. Like, I don't know if this has ever happened to you. Like, you go into somewhere and you just, like, something just feel uncomfortable. But you can't really put your finger on what is making it uncomfortable. But the whole aura or the whole energy of where you're working is just off, right? So... That is what basically happened to me. I started to feel very uncomfortable. Like the tension in the room, you could cut it with a knife. Like I'm sitting in the room running my treatments. It's silent. Two of us is working, four people in the room. And you just feel uncomfortable. So I sat in that for a couple months. For a couple months just because I wanted the experience. Um, and eventually it took the bully mentality to come over into my come over into my space for me to start being like yeah i can't sit in this anymore and for me this group of people was the most unprofessional people i've ever worked with i've been a travel for years and i transitioned from working in jamaica as i said before to going to oklahoma and all of that um i've worked with many different people and this group of people is very very unprofessional but you can speak to the the coordinator about one thing and then you hear it from another co-worker and it's like it's not appropriate i don't know but anyways um, I guess that is what they find normal and that is normal to them and they've been working like this for years so who am I to come in and try to change that right so 
I knew that with the change in manager, because the person that hired me is no longer there, they changed to a different manager and she came in very positive and stuff like that. But I've already catch up on the type of people they are and the culture that is within this group. So I knew that it was going to be hard for her to make the change. And one of the staff meetings that we had over a tell you whatever like there was too much chaos there was a lot of people shouting out their issues and everything just went weird to me and I was like there was no it's more of a herd mentality and there was no real um what would I say let me not say that um but at the end of the day um the herd mentality got what they wanted the change that she wanted to make they refused it so i kind of realized that it's kind of setting the tone for what will be happening here on out right um when a situation arised with where two nurses were acting like they wanted to bully me and text my phone about what they feel I should do or what I should do and the way they presented it to me about a training that I was not even put it this way if I was if I came into the job and was appropriately trained for something I would be very okay with doing my job. However, if I'm not trained for something, I'm not going to go into, um, I'm not going to be placed in a situation where I'm going to do a skill that I'm not trained for, right? Forcing me to train on a on-call day with someone that I don't even feel comfortable working with is, is uncalled for, right? And this statement made and this is not verbatim but if you're going to say if it was me i'm going to i would have made you come in that don't fly well either so kind of understanding that this is a toxic environment we have to know when to leave and when to step away and after working my on-call day i decided it was time to step away and I see where I was changing. If I have to screenshot messages to managers talking about this is what this person did to me or said to me, I don't need to be here. And it's one too many times. I just have reached the point where I no longer think I can push through the discomfort just for experience. Let's put it that way. And some of us need to know when to let go or when to walk away from a certain situation before it reaches that point where something has to happen and then everybody can be like, see, she never know or see, she 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 act like she didn't know or she act like she did nice or she act like this or she act like that. Um, so I decided not to wait on that because knock on wood, or whatever this is this is not wood knock on drywall <laughs> that i've been there seven months and i have not had anything happen to me that i had to be written up for or anything like that so if you're not in an environment that is going to water you and grow you into that beautiful and wonderful nurse that you are or that you strive to be, I think you should take your time and go at your pace. And if it becomes to the point where it is starting to be unsafe, you're starting to feel uncomfortable, your gut is telling you this don't feel right, leave. You cannot force yourself into spaces that is not for you. You can never force yourself into spaces that is not for you. Right now, I left this job and normally I'm a person that always have something line up before I leave another job because, you know, we have financial responsibilities so you can't just jump and leave a job. So I say this with a lot of love 
and I'm sending this out to anyone that is having a rough time in training, in anything you're doing right now, even if you're a brand new nurse. Sometimes we force ourselves into situations, meaning that we sit in it because we want experience, we want experience, we want experience, and stuff happen negatively, right? And it dampers you. It don't damper the people them that cloud your judgments and cloud your mind while you're at work. It doesn't happen to them. And if you're going to be anxious, stressed, when you're at work, you're not thinking about patient care. You're thinking about, oh my God, I have to be here tomorrow. Oh my God, how long am I going to be here? It's time to leave. It is time to leave some people will make you so miserable that you start messing up at work. It's not even that you're horrible at what you do. Your mind is just clouded just because of some people. See, I couldn't even wait to take a shower and take off this and look pretty and cute um, to make this video because I just woke up from my nap. I resigned this morning. I ate some food. I came in the coach. I watched some comedy videos with Ryan before he left for work. And I laid in my coach and I took a nap and I felt so good. Just to know that I'm not going to be showing up to those type of people tomorrow. You hear what I'm saying? Mind you, no workplace will be perfect. But if a workplace is having you stressed anxious this is not even burnout yet this is not even burnout let's get that straight this is not even burnout but when you have somewhere that is going to make you anxious make you stressed you have to go where you are wanted go where you're wanted no workplace is perfect no i'm not promising you that anywhere you go even if i go to a different facility i go to a different company i go to a different agency i go to a clinic i go wherever even if i go to those different places i'm not promising you that it's going to be perfect i'm not looking for perfection i'm looking for somewhere where i can have healthy work banter where i don't have to be anxious where i have support where i can look to say okay hi this is me this is what i um i am capable of this is what i want to learn and people be like okay nisian this is this this is that we're going to do this we're planning for this for you you know stuff like that like just a healthy work relationship sprinkled with a whole lot of professionalism because whoo I'm not even going to go down into the things that I've observed over the last seven months of working at this place. I wouldn't even go into that. But I just want to say this. I was very enthusiastic about going into this profession or this specialized area. I was very happy. I wanted to learn. But then it come a point where I no longer had the urge to want to learn anything new just because of how these people were behaving just because of how these people were behaving and this closes my chapter not in dialysis but working with these people so I am looking forward to wherever this life takes me or whichever job I get after this <laughs> I'm looking forward to it I'm not uh, the good thing is that I'm not I, I it's not difficult for me to go anywhere and work I'm very easygoing and that is the thing I started to not become easygoing I was become miserable just like the people that where I was working with so I no longer have to be that so yeah let me go ahead and this event here because you can't say and everything you can't say but anyways let me go ahead and end this video here it's getting dark it's getting dark and i'm gonna eat some dinner that i did not get to eat last night because i was so overwhelmed with how i was feeling i had no appetite and also i got home late so 
appetite was not even there so yeah I'm gonna eat some dinner I'm gonna end this video here and tomorrow I'm going to be sending out more applications and looking forward to interviews and preparing for interviews because only salvation lasts forever not unemployment <laughs> I'm so dumb. But anyways, bye! When looking at the issues an area has, we should not only look at the quantity of the staff, but the quality of the staff. Not because you have experience in an area, it does not mean you have the persona to teach. And not because you have years of experience in a specialized area, it does not mean you have wisdom. And I just wanted to close with that. Now I can move on.